Hey guys, it's Chris here with work to game and it is time to buy Stormblood. Now at the time of this recording, I'm here in North America, it's January, so your pricing may be a little different, especially if you're in a different region of the world, but hopefully the comparisons I make will go ahead and translate into wherever you're looking at buying the game. Keep in mind that a lot of these prices may drop over time. There may be sales on places like Amazon. Um, I've seen plenty of great deals and that's how I've always picked up the game for a secondary platform like PlayStation when I usually play on Mac. So let's just dive into what these packages are. I'm going to focus on Stormblood first and then we'll go ahead and go backward for anybody who may actually be looking to get into the game for the first time or come back from playing in A Realm Reborn. If you just want to get into Stormblood and you're playing on Heaven's Word now and you don't care about all the other fancy stuff, it is just going to be $40. $39.99 here in the U.S you'll transition in right away. If you pre-order it today, you'll actually have early access. Now, I just said you don't care about all those other things, but if you pre-order, you do get a Red Mage minion, you get some Alamigo earrings, which I'm pretty excited about. This is most likely the majority of all players anyway, but given the significant price increase for like the physical edition that we're about to go over, I imagine most of you could just stop this video right here and get to pre-ordering. Now, with A Realm Reborn and with Heaven's Word, we did see this kind of $20 that you could put in extra for a mount, a minion, and a vanity piece of gear to glamour. And actually with Heaven's Word, we jumped up to two mounts, one of which was a fat chocobo. And Stormblood is no different. We're gonna be getting a Sildra mount, a Bart minion, and a chicken knife. Now if this isn't enough loot for you, we are gonna go ahead and move into the physical collector's edition. Now this will come in an art box, which personally doesn't excite me. It will come with an art book, which I think would be worth flipping through once or twice. It'll come with a sticker that I guess you put on the side of your computer or something. But it will also come with a cloth map, which I'm super excited to see. I wish I could get my hands on. And a Xenos Yay Galvos minion, I think, um, like a statue. I think I pronounced that right. It would just sit on the shelf like behind you while you game. And it will still come with a digital code to play. Hopefully this will have some overlap in case you have a delay in the mail because this is coming in at $199. And if I paid 200 bucks for a physical collector's edition, I'm probably not the kind of person that would take lightly to not getting to play a new expansion right after it went live for the rest of the world. But let's break down the value here. Obviously, it's not shocking that every two years we have to pay an additional $40 to move into a bunch of new content. It's also not weird that they want an additional $20 for some in-game stuff because mounts vary between 12 and 30 dollars us if you just buy them individually from the lodestone minions are as little as five dollars and glamour items also come in at five dollars this adds up to roughly 20 ish bucks assuming you don't use the glamour item you've still got a mount and a minion it's not crazy overpaid, assuming these are the mounts and minions you wanted. Now you could wait and order this later because, for example, the A Realm Reborn and the Heaven's Word Collector's Editions, well, you can still go back and pay just the $20 for the in-game stuff because you want it. You can pay $30 and get both, which is now three mounts, two minions, two glamour items. Did I say one of those was a fat chocobo? Now the fact that we jump from one mount with an expansion to two mounts with an expansion would make me think that I hope they're going to at least surprise us with a second one because they made a lot more money than they did back when they developed the last expansion. Now let's break down what's in that physical collector's edition to see if that's still a great value. Now when I look on eBay for collector's edition statues after the hype has died off, I can see them under $40 given that you're patient and you're willing to wait enough time for this. Otherwise you have to go to the Square Enix site and they consider everything they put out to be limited collector's editions and they would want the full $130, $140 extra that this pack is costing you. So then the map. Given that it's cloth, I don't know to assign any extra value to that, but when I looked at collector's edition maps from like old NES games, because that's the only thing I know to compare this to, they vary between $20 and $30. This might be different in your region or area, and once again, you're going to have to watch the market for this. So you, this is already talking from value of like, what is it worth if I try to sell it after the hype is gone, or I'm willing to buy it? multiple years from now. Art books are pretty straightforward. Square Enix still sells them new, well after the fact, right at $40. Stickers, virtually worthless. If you pay $5 for a sticker at a trade show, you overpaid. The art box, also worthless if all the other stuff's not in it. So if we add this up, individually, each of those prices makes sense to me on their own. It actually adds to right around that $100, $120 mark that says, this isn't an outrageous price, assuming you wanted all of these things. It's like when I get a sandwich and they ask if they want to make it a combo and I really just want the drink, I don't want the chips. Yeah, the chips are included, but they also built that into their price. So am I just overpaying for the drink? So all in all, 200 seems a little high. 
a hundred this would be a steal at 120 to 150 that's probably fair the last expansion if i remember correctly was like right at 130 for an expansion so this collector's edition to come with all this just seems a little outlandish um especially considering it doesn't include something to compete with the fact that once again the last one came with a fat chocobo but let's back up from here and say okay based on that i've made my decision but i've never played this game before i can just hop in right and if i pay 200 dollars, surely they're going to give me everything i need not true you are going to have to buy a realm reborn and heaven's word as a package deal these are now being sold right at 30 dollars that 29.99 us and that would actually get you all the way up to Stormblood. You could play that first and then decide, hey, yeah, I want to go ahead and jump into Stormblood. Now, the nice thing is every time you buy a Realm Reborn, you get 30 days free trial for that account. So so really at $15 for your first month, that's actually a pretty good deal. Heaven's Word is $20 just for the upgrade if you played a Realm Reborn, got your free month back then, and you just want to come catch up now. But even just assuming you wanted to try it up to the point it's at now, $30 coming with a free 30 days and then you paying 15 a month for the next two periods would get you 90 days for the price of a normal game. And most games would not give you nearly the hours or nearly the enjoyment that this would. So I actually feel that the value is definitely there. If you do subscribe for more time, three months drops you down a dollar per month. Six months actually drops you all the way down to $12.99. So you've, lost, you've saved $2 a month. So you're actually getting up an extra month at that point kind of and they do sell gift cards if you just want to tell a family member hey i would love you to pay my subscription time so breaking that down knowing that i don't want the art box i don't want the stickers the art book would just be worth flipping through a few times and done the statue and the map kind of seem a little overpriced for me to pick up the physical collector's edition and i'm on the fence between the digital and the original and i'll probably pre-order by the time you watch this but i would love to hear what you're going to get does this pricing even seem fair to you and i want to say thanks for watching if you'd like to see more videos from us, we produce mostly Final Fantasy videos, but we're into all games just about once a day. Please hit that subscribe button right here. Now, after you've hit that like button to let us know that you liked this video or you like other videos that we do here, you can go ahead and click right here to get on to the next video.